manager is being announced, Harry. And the uh, managers, uh, we had Sh Shannon cheer us out there now. Olivia Gangwer is on the ice right now with her family. Parker Joyce uh, comes up to the carpet, joined by his family. Here's Lucas de Bonville stepping forward. Parents are originally from Canada, Montreal. They are fluent uh, French speaking. So that's a good college for him, obviously going back home. Which uh, school would be going to? Um, the one in Montreal. There's a couple. There's McGill. There's McGill. I think it's McCoy. Campbell Vadia now. His brother. Arhat joining him. And Matthew Marable. Jack Sylvain now coming forward, joined by his family.
Now Quinn Hutchins coming forward, even though he's a senior, he only played one year with the with the uh, Bulldogs. Like you said, he uh, was in junior hockey. And now we have the three senior captains remaining here on senior night. Jake San Clemente coming forward, number 14. Yep. His older brother uh, played for Bedford for four years. Does have a younger brother, but um, his older brother, I believe, graduated last year and is uh, away at college. Parker Roberto, number 39. Of course, his brother Owen is on the team as well. And he comes by, join his family. Got a couple younger brothers, Dalton. Five brothers all together, or five, uh, five children in the Roberto family, all boys, so they all play hockey. So this won't be the last Roberto uh, no. we'll see on this roster. Nope. And last but not least, but Tim Spencer. Star of the hockey PSAs that we produced at Bedford 105.1. In fact, the first one we did won a uh, state award, state broadcaster's award. Second place, best, second best PSA in the state. That's awesome. Almost right up there with the see something, say something PSAs, Bill. Those are third place. Oh, that was a second place one. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> I believe that was a burglary in Bedford that won that one. Oh, we're talking about the TV, not the radio. Uh oh. Oh, radio. I was talking radio, actually. Oh. Well, but, uh, you know, speaking <coughs> of, we could definitely use some uh, new uh, PSAs for the radio, so. Well, those are coming. We're Get some <coughs> scripts ready. We'll have you in the studio. And that concludes our senior night celebrations here on the ice. We're a little bit behind schedule here. It's 6.53, puck drop was to be at seven o'clock. Obviously the teams need their 10 minute warm up. so. That yeah, might still happen. They're pretty, I'm gonna say uh, they're maybe close. six, seven, <coughs> ten, seven, fifteen at the worst. Puck drop, you know, we'll just uh, take a break and come back uh, on TV here in a couple of minutes right after warm up is completed. One last team photo in front of the parents on the bench. Always a special time when the seniors are congratulated for their performances over these years. Of course, it's not the end of the season for these teams, obviously. Bedford will be moving on to the playoffs. As we mentioned off the air, this game important for both teams. Bedford wanting to stay in the number three seed. Currently they're in number four. Hanover occupies the third seed. If they beat Hanover tonight, they will take over third. Hanover, on the other hand, with a win over Bedford, could uh, very likely take over the number two seed since they would tie with Concord <coughs> and they have a head-to-head -head, uh, win over them.
Yeah, big bet. That'll be big because obviously the first two teams get a first round bye. You want that first round bye? Actually, the first five do. <coughs> first five, first five teams get the bye. Yep. Uh, but being the fourth seed means you wind up playing number one in the semifinal, and those will take place at JFK Arena. Right. 